all right fellas in this video we are going to see the best nvidia control panel settings for premiere pro 2023 first of all you need to have the nvidia geforce experience installed on your pc and once you are done you need to go to search and you need to type nvidia in the search bar once you are done typing the nvidia in the search bar you need to first of all navigate to the geforce experience so once you are right inside the nvidia geforce experience you need to navigate to drivers and once you are right inside the drivers you need to make sure you have the latest version of the nvidia studio driver installed on your pc and you can check by going into these three vertical dots just next to the check for updates and you need to make sure you select the studio driver because it provides the best experience for the creative apps and uh, creative apps includes the premiere pro and that is the best driver that you can use to increase the rendering speed and the preview speed in the premiere pro and once you are done you need to click on check for updates and once you do so you will see a message that you have the latest nvidia studio driver installed on your pc so we are good to go now let us navigate straight into the nvidia control panel again you need to go to your desktop and you need to go to search again and you need to type nvidia once you type the nvidia now we need to navigate into the nvidia control panel so that we can apply the best GPU acceleration settings for the Premiere Pro. Alright, as you can see, I'm right inside the NVIDIA control panel. First of all, we need to go to the adjust image settings with the preview and you need to select use the advanced 3D image settings. And once you're done, you need to navigate to the configure surround physics and you need to make sure you select the processor of the physics settings as your gpu processor do not go with the auto select and the cpu because we need the gpu to be used when you're using physics in premiere pro and once you're done you need to go to the manage 3d settings right inside the manage 3d settings we have the global setting and the, and the program settings the global settings will be applied to all the applications that we have that supports the gpu acceleration and for the program settings we will specify each and everything for that program to to be used and customized so we need to go into the program settings and we need to customize the gpu acceleration settings for premiere pro so from this drop down you need to select the premiere pro but first you need to make sure you check this mark show only programs found on this computer that is very important and uh, you need to click on the drop down and you need to find the premiere pro from this list and as you can see i can see the premiere pro adore premiere pro.exe file i will click on this and it will be automatically applied to my program that i want to customize for the gpu acceleration and if you are unable to trace the premiere pro right inside your pc you can click on add and you can specify the path where your premiere pro is located first of all you can select from this list it will show all the programs from your computer as you can see see i can see my adobe premiere pro 2020 and other programs right inside this list and if you are unable to trace anything from here too you can go to browse and you can specify the path manually for the program settings to be applied for the gpu customization i will tell you the default location of the premiere pro where the premiere pro is located first of all you need to go to your windows directory this is usually the local disk c once you're right inside you need to go to the program files once you're right inside you need to click on adobe and it will show you all the adobe series that you have on your pc right now so right now i am gonna customize adobe premiere pro 2020 and you can go inside it and if if you can see the dot exe file right inside the premiere pro as you can see this is the application file this is the exe file that we need for the premiere pro to be customized so i will click on open and it will be automatically applied here and now we are gonna apply the best and video control panel settings for the premiere pro so all right so first of all the for the image scaling you need to select on and keep it at its 50 percent and uh, click on ok for any dropping filtering you need to go with 16x for anti-aliasing gamma correction you need to make sure it is on for anti-aliasing mode you need to select over at any application settings and for that settings you need to have the 8x for anti-aliasing transparency you need to go with 8x super sample for background application max frame rate you need to make it as on and keep it at its maximum in my case i have 200 fps so that's very insane and you need to click on ok for CUDA gpus this is very important if you have multiple gpus on your pc you you must go with the gpu that you have on your pc i have right now nvidia geforce gtx 1660 ti so i will go with this one and click on ok and for the low latency mode you need to go with on for max frame rate again you need to click on on and make it to the maximum that is 1000 fps that's amazingly insane and you need to click on ok you can leave the monitor technology but i recommend to go with g-sync compatible if you have an nvidia graphics card for the multi frame 
sampled double a mf double a you need to click on on for open gl gdi compatibility you need to make sure you select the performance if you're looking for very high performance and i would recommend to select only prefer performance for the open gl rendering gpu you need to select obviously your nvidia gtx 6060 ti in this case this is my gpu so i will select this one for sure for the power management mode make sure prefer maximum performance it will rapidly increase your rendering speed in the premium pro for the refresh rate make sure it is highest available for the texture filtering you need to make sure it is on and for the negative lrd bias again this is inside the texture filtering and you need to select clamp for texture filtering quality make sure it is selected as very high performance because we need the performance and increase the preview and the rendering speed and for the trilinear optimization it should be on for threaded optimization it should be on for triple buffering it should be definitely on for vertical sync you need to make sure it is also on for virtual reality i would recommend to use the 3d application settings for the vulcan opal gl preset method you need to click preferred layer on TXGI swap chain this is the new technology of the Vulkan or OpenGL that is recently introduced in the Nvidia control panel you need to must go with this one and once you are done applying these settings you need to make sure you click on apply and save all the settings and once you are done you have successfully customized your Premiere Pro for the maximum GPU acceleration and now let us go right inside the Adobe Premiere Pro and apply the best settings for the GPU acceleration all right fellas so right now I am right inside me Adobe Premiere Pro and first of all you need to navigate to file and once you are right inside the file you need to navigate to project settings and once you are right inside the project settings you will have three options first of all we need to navigate to general once you are right inside the general you need to make sure the renderer here under video rendering and playback it is selected as mercury playback engine gpu acceleration CUDA that is very important and it will enable the gpu acceleration in your premiere pro while you are watching your videos watching your previews or rendering the video that is very important and in the HDR graphics you need to go with 2035% do not go with the highest if you don't have a very high in graphics card and for the 3d LUT interpolation you need to go with tetrahedral that requires a GPU acceleration that is very important and you need to click on ok once you are done applying these settings you need to go to edit and you need to go to the preferences and navigate to general and once you are right inside these preferences you need to go to the media and uh, you need to make sure H264 HEVC hardware acceleration decoding and the encoding both are enabled and it might require you to restart the premiere pro and you can do this and once you are done you need to go to the memory and uh, optimize rendering for performance you should uh, select the performance here and keep the ram reserved for other application to minimum and keep the ram available for the premiere pro should be maximum in this case i have 16 gb of ram and 13 gb is preserved for the premiere pro and other applications can access only 3 gb of my ram so that is very important and once you are done you need to click on ok the last but not the least setting is the export settings once you are done editing your videos you need to navigate into the export and once you are added inside the export module you need to scroll down until you see the encoding settings and make sure the performance is selected as hardware encoding once you are ready to export your videos and that's it it will dramatically increase your rendering speed in the premiere pro and it will be completely customized so that you can see the significant increase in the previous speed as well as the rendering speed in the premiere pro so that's it and i hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below so thank you so much for watching this video i will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible so thanks again and have a nice day see you in my next video